Hi guys, welcome back to the Humble Gamer channel. I am the Humble Gamer and this is Railway Empire. This is um, basically, if you ever played the old Railroad Tycoon series, it's that, um, but done by Calypso, the people that did... Um, what's that game I played quite a lot of? Tropico. Uh, amongst others. Um, check out the Tropico playlist in the description below. Um, we are going to be playing a new um, uh, sandbox mode? Free mode? Free mode I think is the one I'm looking for. Um, and we should be playing the free mode in the, in the Great Britain and Ireland. We should be playing the full thing. The reason I've chosen this is because um, when British Railways were first made, and I don't mean the company British Railways, when the Railways of Britain were first being created, they did something that no other country did. Because we were the first, because we were the pioneers, people built railways. The most famous railway in uh, for the early start is, of course, the Stockton and Darlington, which you can't have on here because neither Stockton nor Darlington exist. But the Liverpool and Manchester is probably the one that people most associate with the beginning of British Railways. Now, that might say it's lovely, romantic, and it's a fantastic story, but it doesn't make any sense. Most other countries, after watching us cock up the railways, started, guess where? Their capital. And if you look at the railway maps of most other European countries, and in fact most other countries where, where, that weren't part of the British Empire at, at any point, they built their railways from city centre to city centre, out like spokes. Um, which does mean that if Britain had done that, places like Swindon wouldn't have been big, Crewe wouldn't have been big, um, lots of places that would just not have existed. Um, and of course Liverpool and Manchester probably wouldn't have been as prosperous as they are now. However, what we're going to do is we're going to start Britain, we'll start the British Railways in London. We're going to start with an initial capital of 1 million, AI level normal, railway network realistic, pause mode normal. Um, Competitors three. We're going to have so we're going to have four companies, the big four. So we start in 1813. By 1930, the aim, my personal aim, is obviously ignoring whatever the game gives me. My personal aim is to have basically control of Britain's railways. Um, so Strong let's get on with it. and discipline are the path to victory. Don't Not the general. The Who do I usually play as? I certainly isn't my you. Hey. Oh, it is the general. Are you a well, my According, let's go. You Your search is over. Is it the general? You found I usually what players? you're looking for, partner. Well, do we need a bit Niles? There's no way to halt the progress of technology. Well, I think locomotive, en locomotive engines are 70% cheaper. We'll go with the engineer. Uh, we won't call myself Christopher Goldthorne because that's my stage name. We should go with um, Humble Gamer. And the name of my company. You're not seriously shall... considering these other nitwits, are you? No, I'm going with you. Shut up. Um, and my name and the name of my company to start with shall be the London Railway Company. Why not? And continue, please. So yes, that's what we're doing. The aim of this series, I don't know how long it's going to take, is to basically um, build take over all of Britain's railways. The first main objective I'm going to set myself is the London to Edinburgh, the London North Eastern Railway. Uh, the Flying Scotsman route. For those of you that are interested since um, people watching this and people watching my channel at the moment are very railway influenced. So it's a brand new series so I'm going to be interested to see um, this. I loved, I love Railway Tycoon and I've, I've got to say I enjoy Railway Empire. Um, but yes, yeah, so I don't, like I said, I don't know how long this is going to take. Um, here we go. This time you have to deal with three arrivals. Yes, Pay attention to your task list if you want to achieve a higher rating. I will do. Right, so. Best of destined for. First of all, let's pause. To get. Oh, okay, I can't pause it, that's fine. So let's build our first two stations, as it says down the bottom. Um, I'm going to go with London and Oxford. Now, first thing we're going to do, since we've got a million pounds in capital, grab a building. And we're not just going to do a small train station because that doesn't make doesn't make it. We're going to do a terminal station in London. We're going to do a terminal station with signalling control. That is 300 grand of my budget eaten up, but trust me, it's going to be worth it. I'm going to set it outside London like that. So then we've got routes down to the south to Brighton and Dover, and up to the north to Cambridge and Norwich, and through Peterborough, Hull. Middlesbrough, Newcastle, 
and Edinburgh, which is kind of where I want my East Coast Main Line to go. But first, we go London to Oxford, and Oxford will get just a small. It'll get a train station, it'll get a small station, because I think. And then it's that to rotate, isn't it? Yeah. So there we go. Nice and simple. And then we need to build some track. To start with, we are going to be a single track railway. Uh, are we, or am I going to do my usual tactic of just going double track from the start? We're going to go double track from the start, I think. Um, I'm going to take that one because I want the southern route to come out of there. So let's pay for that. We've still got 500 grand. So then, yeah, let's double track it. The double tracking is a lot easier in this game than it was ever in. Um, <laughs> in the railroad tycoon games and then I know it's telling me to get a locomotive, we're not going to do that, we're going to get a supply tower right in the middle um, just by the bridge and then we're going to do some signalling so forgive me this is the dull bit actually first what I need to do is I need to do a crossover there like that. and then we'll do a second crossover, I don't think that's ever going to be used but anyway and then I need my signals, directional signal there. So I call my engines to just go to the left. That also counts as a directional signal there. So I think we should actually be good. Certainly for the moment, we don't need any more. And then a directional signal there. And again, we should really be good, I reckon. So cool. And then locomotives. First of all, let's set up a line from London to Oxford, and that'll be just. We'll do passengers and mail only to start with. Um, yeah, we will. We'll do passengers and mail only to start with for one of them, and it'll be the rocket. And then we'll do another train. We'll go from Oxford to London, picking up freight only. And again, we'll add the rocket onto that one. But now what we shall do is we shall jump on board our rocket as we leave London with quite a large train, actually. Go away. Go away. Go away. Okay. Of course, you can control your, um, your whistle on this game by pressing when you're in this view. So yeah, we've got our first route from London to Oxford, that's nice and sorted. I then want to go, probably I want to get the line north, up towards Peterborough. I also want to get one down south towards Dover. But yes, now it might seem like I've spent an awful lot of money on the first station, um, especially given that the first station is, uh, is quite so big. Um, in that I've gone for the, the whole... Oh, wait a second. I see the locomotive. I see the train. You're going to be... Yeah, I see what I've done there. Do I see what I've done? Do I see what I've done? I don't think I do see what I've done. Oh, it'll sort itself once this train... No, no, no. Don't set up a rail line. Go away. Um, yeah, whatever. Um, where's my list of routes? Oh, for God's sake. From Oxford. Yeah, from Oxford track one. Through to London. Okay, go. Are we working now? Yes, we're working. Bloody hell, that was an ordeal. That was difficult. <laughs> Wasn't a fan of that, so yeah, right. Ideally, what I'll do, because 
I've now got three options. Do I think of this is a game? All of life is a game, sweetie. I can go down to Brighton and then do the branch to Dover, probably just a single line branch to Dover. I can go Oxford to Birmingham and then Liverpool and then do the West Coast route. Then I've also got London up to Peterborough. And then probably, yeah, I'll probably go Hull, Borough, Newcastle, Edinburgh. So Edinburgh is my first real port, of course. I probably won't do much more with the Oxford route. Other than, let's have a look at, right, where are logs going, if anywhere, nowhere. Apples are going to London and Oxford, of course. So we shall set up just a small station. Which will already become the beginnings of what is the East Coast main line, <laughs> to be fair. Yeah, I'm building a rural train station. Don't hassle me, game. Just don't hassle me. I mean, yeah, if you can come into Oxford. No, no, how am I going to do this then? That's not what I wanted you to do. I've just deleted all the good work. All of my best work. There we go. And then we'll need a supply tower just on to the side. There we go, so that's sort of a rail line between Meacham Estate and London and then Meacham Estate and Oxford. Lovely. And it's going to be a rocket. Of course it is. And then, yeah, so this would eventually become that would probably there be the split to the grid to the east coast line. Of course, it would probably be a split there, wouldn't it? Up to Peter. Oh, there's a new locomotive available. Oh, no, there's some research available. And I can unlock the detonator. Hooray! So yeah, this is this is your tech tree, by the way. If you haven't played Railway um, Empire, this is your tech tree, for one, for a better word. So you start with the rocket, and then we move up to the John Bull, and then the Firefly, then the GM American. It's an American-based game, so then it would be the Iron. I try and unlock the Iron Duke really after that. Then you've got the Waverly 440. Um, then some more American stuff. Some more American stuff. Some more American stuff. More American stuff. More American stuff. More American stuff. The Rail Crusher. Which may or may not be American. The Columbia 442, that's an American. The Taff Fail Tank 060. I don't know why they've picked the Taff Fail Tank, but they have. It's quite nice, it makes a change, I guess. Then American stuff, then American stuff. American stuff. Then the A3 Flying Scotsman, then American stuff, then American stuff, and then the Mallard 462, because of course it's the Mallard 462. Um, so let's have a look at my competitors. Belfast to Derry, that's got nothing to do with me. Uh, Liverpool and Manchester, again, that's got little to do with me. And Glasgow, Dumfries, and Wens Wensley Castle, that has a little less, little more to do with me, but only if they get to Edinburgh first. 
So my main objective for tonight is to get up to Peterborough and start going that way. Then I might, I might, could it be easier for me to go to Cambridge and then Peterborough? Have Cambridge be a junction for Norwich? That's the, these are questions, these are questions, you see. Anyway, I've got the railway started and that's the important thing, that's the thing. That is the the vital important component here. We've made 51 grand in profit. That's mildly positive. <laughs> go away. Go away. But yes, so this is this is London Station. Just gonna call it London. Don't know which one. There's a Great Western fan myself, I'd like to say Paddington. There's a castle down here. Let's pretend that's Buckingham. It's not, but let's pretend it is. Everything running smoothly? Oh, I need to build a... Construction maintenance building. At the terminus. So, yeah, at the moment things are going... Things have started... Slowly but well. We're going to be able to. We won't be able to reach Peterborough, Cambridge, maybe. And again, have a single track line up to Norwich from Cambridge, I think. So let's start building the train station in Cambridge. A new station? Well, good luck with it. I thank you, madam. track this pretty much all the way down to London I think oh no I need 120 odd grand which we shall get when this locomotive appears and well, this is good we've got stuff moving now Build that. And then it would be round to here. And then it would be there would be the split, I think. So you need eight grand for that. But that's not a problem. That's not a problem in the slightest. We can do eight grand, because that will come up very quickly actually. Again, once things have Arrived at stations, for example, here we go. That's one of our rockets pulling in. And it shall pull in quite comfortably. I just realised how far away I am from the mic actually, but uh, so you should be able to hear me a bit. Should run at um, about 1 o'clock in the morning, so I don't want to be too loud because Charlie is sleeping through there and I don't want to wake her up. Um, right, so yes, we can now build. That's lovely. Sorted and then you only need to cross over outside Cambridge, aren't we? If we split this one nicely up into little sections. So 
hopefully that won't disrupt either this train's route, which we haven't actually followed yet, so let's follow we're going to Meacham Estate or Mecham Estate? Probably Mecham Estate. And by the way, I should point out I'm trying a whole new audio setup for this, so um, bear with me on it. <laughs> if it's not perfect because I'm still trying things out because um, my microphone that I've been using for the last year or so sadly got chewed through by a certain young rabbit down down in that direction um, love him for it well maybe we don't love him for it but now it's going to London. so in theory, I've never done this successfully on this game before, um, so in theory now this will do the crossover to the left hand track, you can see London off in the distance there. Move on to this bit of track and then hopefully cross back over to the left hand side, is that what's going to happen? Oh, you beauty! You absolute beauty! <laughs> that makes a difference from train sim, doesn't it? <laughs> so yes, and so now, what I really, really need um, is quicker locomotives for a start. I might have to sell some stock actually because what I really need is to get trains running up to Cambridge because then I can, I've got, I'm recording this in half hour segments so I've got seven minutes to raise the money to get us to Peterborough. Oh look, they've got a John Hancock locomotive, look at them setting records. So yeah, and then I need to get from Cambridge to Peterborough and there will be the single line junction to Norwich. Um, you're not going to see, for the record, you're not going to see every step of this route because there's times where you're just raising money and that's really dull for you to watch. Hello, focus. <laughs> that's really dull for you to watch, so we're just going to have to um, roll with it a little bit. Aha, here we go. So we've now got 30 grand, which means I can buy a supply tower specifically for the Cambridge section of the route. Good. Now I can, now I can buy locomotives. London to Cambridge. I'll do passengers and mail only. Lovely. And then add a rocket. And then build a new route from Cambridge to London. And do that as freight only. Add a locomotive. And we shall go on that locomotive from Cambridge down to London because he's got nothing on him. <laughs> so we're not going to make any money from Cambridge, the Cambridge section to start with. But we have at least made our move towards the East Coast. Like I said, from Cambridge there'll be a little line going off to Norwich, which will do. Um, that will do a single track line to Norwich, which we might probably start the next episode with that because I don't think I'm going to get to Peterborough in the next six minutes. In fact, I'll probably call this episode after we've travelled. Um, to London via from Cambridge. So yes, now this this is quite an interesting setup I've got here actually. Um, for me anyway, this is probably really dull for you guys. But um, but yeah, so uh, I'm not sure. I mean, obviously, this is going to be this is going to have to be eventually become four track, I think, um, and have lines that go round Cambridge Station for the expresses that don't stop there. So you can literally non-stop from London to Edinburgh. Um, certain stations, Peter will have four tracks. Probably Newcastle will have four tracks. Um, but places like Hull and, Hull and Cambridge, and they'll just have two tracks. 
no point in putting all my eggs in one basket, is there? Um, obviously this series is all pre-recorded, so you can give me suggestions, but I won't be able to follow them, although um, I will try, if you give me suggestions and I do a second series of this, because I really want to do the Transcontinental Railroad in a similar style to this. Um, so a free build sort of situation then um, I shall take all them on board and take them to America with me because I've only got this DLC, I don't have any of the other DLC um, and there's the passenger train oh that's how you do it, there's the passenger train that will eventually become the Flying Scotsman I guess No, I don't need to add a signal. I do need to add a, add a signal in there, actually. I think that one. Yeah, I need to add a signal in there because of that junction. But I should do that in between episodes. Um, yeah, we're definitely not going to make any money, uh, make anywhere near enough money to get to Peterborough. So, um, that might be the only episode I record of this tonight, just because this is. Um, it's a long form game, this one. It's a very long form game. It's. Ooh! We've made 42 grand in profit. Or more correctly, we've made 42 grand more in profit. So if I flick to this side. Okay, London demands less ham. So that's a thing. I also need a, I also need a signal here. But again, I shall sort all the signaling stuff out in the next episode. And I think since we've arrived at London, that will be that. So thank you ever so much for watching. If you are enjoying what you're seeing, please do like and subscribe. Check out the game in the description below. If you're watching this, if you're watching this, then you've probably played it, um, because again, I don't tend to do new games because of money. Um, <laughs> I just do games that I enjoy. So uh, definitely do check out the game in the description below. Um, thank you ever so much for watching. Check out my train sim stuff in the description below. Also check out my Sodor snippets playlist in the description below. Um, check out the annotation on the screen you're about to see. Thank you ever so much for watching. I was me. That was well. I am Percy. See you in the next episode, guys. Goodbye. Yeah, this, is a, this, is a, this is a good, I suspect this is going to become a good test for people. If, uh, uh, obviously I don't know what the developer has, uh, the real Rebooter has in mind for it, but if it stays at this sort of length, it's only about four miles long, um, it's going to be a very good test, test route I think.